Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering with Pritam. In this quick video, we will be talking about one feature of PTC Creo. You might have seen in your screen of which is Erase Not Displayed. So in this video, we will be talking about Erase Not Displayed and what actually this feature do. So if you're going to click on this option as soon as you open the software, you will see nothing is happening. But uh, if you see carefully on the bottom, here you will see the message which says all objects are in session are clearly being displayed. No object will be erased. This means that there is nothing in the session. So what does it actually mean? Let me quickly show you the use case scenario of erase not displayed with the help of an example. Okay. So let me just click here on new. And now I would like to give my first part a name. Let's say I'm going to create a mouse. So let me write here mouse. And then I'm going to keep everything as it is. And then I will click on OK. Now here we have a part. Let's say you walked on this part and now you going to close this so you can quickly close it using view and close. OK, so as the part got closed, let's say I want to make another part with same name. Now, if I click on new and again, if I type mouse here and then if I try to create the same part here, you can see an error message appear which says mouse is in use now um this situation seems pretty weird since we already have closed our model but that's not the case we haven't uh you know actually cleared or closed the model from a session in order to close the model from session which you can always find here in common folder in session tab you need to click on erase non display so now if i click on this button which says original displayed here you will see the item or object that is present in my session now you click ok now this time if i try to create the same item which was mouse so i will able to do that so that was possible because i cleared or i erased my model from the session so if you simply close your model using view and close that will actually just hide the model but will not clear the session okay and this tool is actually very helpful whenever we are opening a large assembly for example i opened this assembly and worked with it and after some time i closed it and now there is a possibility that when i am opening another assembly there may be some part with same name so that may create a problem so always try to use it is not displayed while you know opening different assembly and it actually will help you with one more problem which is making your session lighter which means that it will also help you to free your ram and resources that is being occupied by another model so I hope guys you now understood the use of it is not displayed and why it is very useful if you're going to use it in our day to day practice. So that's all guys from my side in this one. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for such content and I will see you soon in my next one. Till then take care and bye bye.